uh, Isaac Lemus. I'm a professor at Politecnico University of Madrid. Also with us, uh, Professor Ebru Susur from UPM and Susana Moreno, uh, who is our uh, academic coordinator in the administrative uh, also matters in UPM as well. So as you know, we are a consortium, an international consortium. Uh, at the moment, we are four universities. Uh, the university, uh, the UPM, Political University of Madrid, also Heriot Watt University, uh, which is where it's Edinburgh Business School, but also they participate with other two campuses, as we will see. The Monterrey Tech in Mexico, that they also uh, participate with three different campuses, and the Politecnico di Torino in Italy. So uh, UPM uh, is the coordinator uh, of the consortium. Uh, so here we are representing, uh, let's say, the cons uh, on behalf of all these four universities, okay? So uh, I think after all these years, we have most of the, let's say, information from these universities in case that there is a very specific question we will, of course, uh, uh, channel you towards uh, the right person who is able to answer you or support you for, for that matter. So we want to have a very interactive session. The idea would be um, to clarify some of the points related to the program, but also to talk more about the admission process, about uh, different scholarships and waivers, what's going on before, during, and after the courses, also to get to know more about you. Uh, so before we start, uh, we would like you to introduce briefly uh, Daniela uh, Pietro, which I think you, you, you are already registered in IMIM, but also Margarita, uh, I think you're a candidate, uh, same as Diego. So we would like to briefly hear from you guys. Uh, you're welcome to activate uh, your microphone, also if you want your camera just to say your name, where you study, what are you studying, uh, why you choose the IMIM in case you are enrolled or, or why is it interesting for you? What would you expect from this, let's say short informative session so that Ebro, Susana and myself are able to answer you better? Um, so who would like to start? Any, any takers? I can start. Perfect, go ahead, Daniela, please. Uh, okay, so my name is Daniela Jimenez. I am currently a student in industrial design engineering in University of Navarra in San Sebastian, Spain. And uh, I will graduate this May. And what I expect from this program is to learn about different cultures and also apart from acquiring all the all the basics on management, I want to specialize in project management or see another uh, path, explore di different things. So yes, that's basically it. That's great. Thank you very much for the introduction, Daniela. So are you Spanish originally? No, I am from Colombia. Perfect, okay. Thank you very much, Daniela. So uh, who would like to go next? Uh, it's okay, Margarita, if you can write down the information in the chat, that would be fine so that we get to know each other, please. Uh, how about uh, Diego, Pietro? Would you like to introduce yourself, please? Perhaps he has some connection problems because I just seen that he connected again, Isaac. Oh, you're right. There are two, or maybe there are two Diego's, <laughs> or it's the same one. Yes. I don't know. Uh... Yes, I was, hello. First of all, hello. Uh, I was having some uh, connection problems okay. with my microphone and, and with the audio setting. So, yes, my name is Diego and I'm uh, a selected student for the next uh, course year. Uh, I'm in program. Uh, I'm from North Spain, and I have just finished my studies on uh, aeronautics uh, engineering. 
and I'm really excited about starting in September uh, this master. Hope the, uh, it will uh, give me an enriching experience, uh, also an international experience. And yes, as I said, I'm really excited about starting it. That's great, uh, uh, Diego. We look forward to meet you and, and Daniela uh, in September or before, if, if you arrive uh, a bit earlier to, to Madrid. Uh, great, thank you very much. So I think Margarita is going to write down in the chat her presentation. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Pietro, would you like to introduce yourself now? Yes, sorry. I, I was driving. <laughs> And uh, I am Pietro, I'm from uh, Italy, and uh, I'm studying uh, management, and I am in the last year. And uh, I, I'm from uh, Milan, and uh, in the September, I would like to, to start uh, in your uh, courses in HIMI, because uh, I, I know a friend of my sister that uh, study in uh, HIMI, uh, some years ago, and I uh, he, he only speak very well about these uh, courses, and so also thanks, uh, since I was a child, I, I love this uh, this uh, this this uh, file, and so I hope to to enter in September. Right, thank you, Pietro. We also said that you're able to join us. Who is your friend, by the way? Uh, Alba Tinaldi. But uh, he, he was studying when uh, uh, there was uh, uh, the Polytechnic of Milan, uh, so six or seven years ago, I believe. Yes, yes. Uh, the previous yes. That's right. Perfect. And, he, and uh, she studied it. Uh, in Madrid and in Burger and uh, in Milan. Milan. Perfect. Thank you very much. Peter. Thank you so much. And also we have uh, Margarita's answer. So she's currently studying management engineering at Polito. And perfect, you would like to know about the program. So we will go in, a, in shortly there, Margarita. So I think we have somebody else now, uh, Nicolas Dominguez. Hi, Nicolas, how are you? Uh, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, like who you are, uh, what, what are you studying, if you have enrolled, or why are you interested in IMIM? Can you do that for us, please, Nicolas? Oh, it's okay, don't worry, Nicolas. Could you maybe write it down like Margarita, and then we will read your introduction? We just want to know everybody to, to get to know each other and also to know what you expect from, from this session. So um, I think we can move on. Uh, we will read the Nicolas introduction in a minute. So I will, I will start talking about in general the IMIM. So, um, well, there are, I think, a couple of you who, who are already enrolled, for, but for the ones who are interested, uh, well, the IMIM is a multi site master program, which means that you will be moving, you no, know, it, or it's a mobility program. Uh, it was born as part of uh, the Erasmus Mundus programs by the European Union. And as you know, uh, like Erasmus, that you have to do an exchange. In this case, the Erasmus Mundus is that you have an exchange, but worldwide, right? So uh, you go to more than one destination. And of course, our master is uh, oriented to, um, let's say it's a mix between a master in business administration and a master in, in industrial engineering. So we always say that it's kind of an MBA with an engineering perspective, which uh, turns out to be a, a very advantageous combination for, for our graduates, uh, uh, as you will see later when we comment what they are doing after uh, their studies. So we have been labeled twice by the European Union with this uh, high quality standard uh, label, the, the Erasmus Mundus, and it was from, from, from these editions. We are, um, we, you have to wait, as you can see, some years before you can reapply for, for the label. So we are actually, we are willing to, to reapply again uh, for this next, next year. Uh, our students, they come from everywhere. So I think here we can, at least in the session, we have people from Colombia, Spain, and Italy. 
but uh, we have um, people from everywhere, as you can see in in this uh, in this map, uh, with different percentages, um, many Europeans, uh, Asians as well. So, how is the structure of the program? There has been, as, as somebody was saying, uh, different um, consortiums. You know, um, part of the, 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 the advantages of these programs is that they are alive. So we are always uh, collaborating with different institutions. And uh, currently, this is how the, the consortium for your intake looks like, which means the intake, uh, uh, at least for the next three years. Um, so uh, the first semester, it's you, you have to study here in UPM. So you will have a general introduction to managerial courses. And the second set of uh, general courses will happen in, in Edinburgh Business School. Uh, so there you will go during the second semester. And then you will have the opportunity to choose a uh, different mobility to have an specialization. So one option is that you go to Politecnico di Torino in Italy to have courses related to engineering and finance, or that you can go to uh, the Monterrey Tech in Mexico. There are three campuses that you can choose in Monterrey, Guadalajara, or Mexico City. And here you will uh, choose a track related to innovation. And there is a newly added, this is the first time that we're offering this opportunity. So you're gonna be the, 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 the first edition if you choose this track, which is a uh, Hebelwad University campus in Kuala Lumpur. So if you go to Malaysia, you will, you, you will be specializing in uh, things related to people and change. And uh, another option would be also from Hebelwad University. Uh, which is the Dubai campus in the, the United Arab Emirates. And here you can study uh, courses related to logistics and supply chain. So as you can see, it's a very versatile, very com uh, complete also program. And finally, the, the last semester, the, the idea is that you have a, a master thesis. So you can do it inside a company. So uh, you can find your internship. We have many students finding their, their own internship or even uh, a few maybe starting their own business. Uh, and, uh, or you can also uh, have a, an academic tutor. I mean, in any case, you will have an academic tutor, but you can participate in a project, a research project inside a university. And that would be the, the other option. And you can do this everywhere in the world. So um, you can go back if you want to your home country, or you can go back to any of the places where you have been studying. Uh, for the IMIM master, or you can go whenever you want, whenever you find the internship, um, and then you can uh, write the thesis there. Okay, so uh, we we'll also back, we will also go back to this later. So um, the UPM, um, we are using here the uh, QS Engineering Technology Ranking. So this is one of the most uh, used uh, rankings that you have to to know about the universities. So uh, UPM is number 55 in the world when it comes to, to engineering and, and technology, uh, number 19 in Europe and number one in Spain, okay? Uh, so uh, the idea is that you start in, from September to December this year, uh, course in 30 grades. Basically, this is the, the courses that you're gonna have. As I was saying, they are introduction to general uh, managerial topics. Uh, on the top of that, we also organize workshops, seminar, conferences. Okay, so you can also take a closer look at this uh, in our brochure that uh, Susanna, I'm sure, has or, or will share with you or, or our web page or our social media that we also will uh, comment later on. If you go to Herowat University, the Edinburgh campus, uh, that will happen from January to May 2024. Okay, so next year. And here um, you have two mandatory courses are these ones, and you can also um, check, uh, let's say optional, you can choose two of these optional courses. And actually here we have a video that they sent to us about one of what they do in one of the courses. This is the current, uh, well, one of the editions that started last year. Uh, oops, I'm not sure why. Now we cannot share the, the video is that maybe you can stop sharing like you can stop the full screen and then try maybe can you it will see, work? Can I choose a hair of what is it uh, can you see it Deborah? 
Yeah, we can we can see. Now we can still see the presentation, but we do not see YouTube screen. Thank you. Yes, so. Um, so I think now we can see the video. Our right? students have value. Correct. Value that they bring to any kind of company. How would you describe a head of what student? inspired, determined, ambitious. With years of experience exactly. from one of the greatest universities in the world, the future generation is here to work. Exactly. Here to work. Uh, we, we cannot see the video playing, but only the audio of the video. Now you're muted. Okay, I'm trying to fix it, sorry guys. Okay, uh, okay. Maybe because... Uh, here to work. Here to work. Okay, I will do it. I wanted to do it full screen, but at least you can take a look. And maybe it's because from LinkedIn I cannot do the same <laughs> as PowerPoint. Let's play it again. Why choose a hair of what student? Our students have value, a value that they bring to any kind of company. How would you describe a head of what student? Inspired, determined, ambitious. With years of experience from one of the greatest universities in the world, the future generation is here to work. 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 Well, this was just a short video. So um, actually uh, this was sent by our students who, who, um, who from this branding and communications course so we will share with you the video later you can take a look at, at it but it's just for you to have an idea right about the type of courses that, that they are having so um can you see the presentation now again yes thank you so another option is that you go oh sorry i, I forgot to mention about about the rankings so uh, what University is number 260 uh, when it comes to engineering and technology, 105 in Europe, and number 27 in the UK. Um, another option uh, for the third semester is that you can go to Polito, okay? Um, so uh, Polito uh, is highly ranked in, in ENT, so it's number 45 in the world. 15 in Europe and the second in, in Italy. If you choose uh, Torino, then uh, you, you have to be there from July to September, which means that uh, you, you will be taking uh, some of these uh, courses. So there might be some small changes, okay? Um, in terms of the provision, you are sup supposed to take only four, okay? So one of these might not be offered or, or there could be any minor change uh, change when when you decide to go there uh, but we'll uh, have the final set probably in in the coming weeks uh, another option is to choose a track for innovation in the monterey tech with, with the three cities that, that i mentioned so monterey tech is number 72 in engineering and technology the third in latin america and, and the second in mexico and and they offer uh, all these um, uh, courses that, that, that you, you need to study to specialize on, on innovation. Uh, you can also continue with the Dubai campus from Herowat University. Uh, so they don't start in, in July, they start in September. And, and there are only four courses uh, with, with higher credits or larger credits, and, and they specialize in operations and, and supply management. Or finally, this is the, the new track that they offer with their other campus in, in Malaysia related to uh, uh, people and change. So from all these, um, uh, all of them are electives. So you need to choose uh, four out of these seven that you could select in, in this campus. And uh, well, I think, uh, uh, up to here, I have been, you know, introducing the, the topic. So now I'm going to give the microphone uh, to my colleague, uh, Evo, so who can explain the, the fourth semester and also uh, the ecosystem and, and the next slides that, that you will see. Thank you, Evo. 
Thank you, Isaac. Now, if you uh, successfully finalize the first three semesters and accomplish your 90 credits, you will be given uh, the opportunity to run your master thesis anywhere around the world. That's one of the differentiating points of IMIM. Uh, well, you can, you have to actually choose an academic tutor from one of the member universities. Uh, this can be one of the universities that you have involved in your structure or maybe another university, again, uh, from the consortium, but that you haven't been there. As long as you can find the right tutor who is an expert on the field that you will be writing your master thesis, you can do it uh, from anywhere around the world, which means you can work in China, you can work in Paraguay, you can work in the United States, you can work anywhere in Europe, outside Europe, Asia, Middle East, wherever you like. Hmm? And semester runs from January uh, to June in the last year of the program. Basically for your edition, it will be 2025. And normally we uh, run the master thesis presentations and the graduation ceremony in, in June. Um, yeah, there, there is a, a mini typo there. It's like it should be, I think, 27th June, 2025, but it's okay. So uh, you run the presentations and normally the next day, the ones that uh, finalize it successfully go for the graduation ceremony. But as long as you, um, you basically follow the guidelines and if your tutor agrees with it, uh, like majority of our students do not have any issues with the, with the master thesis. If you can go to the next slide, Isaac. Yeah, so there are mainly two types of thesis that we offer in IMIM. Type one is an academic thesis. Basically you work with your academic tutor and it will be more related to, um, let's say, um, university research, okay? More like, rather than an applied research, it will be more like um, a thesis, which will be more based on the literature, following a, a rigorous academic methodology, so on and so forth. Um, as for the professional thesis, you still need to have an academic tutor, but then you are involved in an organization, which can be a private organization or an NGO or a public organization, whichever you prefer. And um, this, of course, comes with its advantages in terms of maybe potential work opportunities afterwards. But of course, it comes with its disadvantages because most of our students, when they are running their professional thesis in the companies, they do uh, a lot of practical work to, to basically complete. And they still need to work on a thesis, which should be written under the academic standard, standards, which means you need to link what you do practically to the theory, the literature, as well as you need to basically follow, again, a scientific methodology to justify and to address your research questions. And both type of thesis have something common in the end. So there is a reader, an external expert, not your supervisor, who will be reading your thesis and you will be evaluated by, by this expert. Plus you will have to run the presentation, the defense, in front of an international examination committee, which is mostly composed of professors from the uh, IMIM consortium. Yeah, if you can go to the next slide, Isaac. Uh, the thesis topics are quite broad as we are offering this uh, unique program, right? It's, it's a master, it's an international master in industry management. So you can work on various topics including entrepreneurship, leadership, uh, innovation, strategic management, technology management, project management, economics and finance. It's really broad and you can choose to work um, basically qualitatively or quantitatively, depending on your expertise or the skills that you would like to develop, uh, develop uh, considering what you would like to do after the master program. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I can continue if you like, because I think later ecosystem comes. Um, we, uh, we have various career opportunities. Huh? We, we have seen our alumni working in the industry. Also, many of our students have joined academia. They were able to follow their PhD because our partner here is what offers Master of Science degree, which really opens the doors for the uh, 
um, for a potential academic career, a PhD. And also we have some students basically who have been um, pursuing their dream of being an entrepreneur, huh? a bit harsh track, but we have seen some successful students as well. Please, Isaac, to the next one. Uh, so here you see the top industries uh, in which our uh, graduates have been working among many other industries, of course. We have seen many of them have joined uh, consulting industry, then the energy, IT, manufacturing, automotive, um, aviation, so on and so forth. Okay, and some of the top employees are Accenture, Axiona, which is our corporate partner, L'Oreal, HP, Deloitte, Whirlpool, Sony, Philips, Capgemini. So the, the list is quite, quite long. And we also see many of our students do their internships in these um, employers. Okay? And then they basically continue working with them or they may uh, do their internship if in one of these uh, big companies, uh, large companies, and then they basically go to another one or they may also choose to work for a smaller firm. So the options are really limitless in that sense. And the good news is that we have been working on the alumni network lately, and we try to connect our IMIM graduates so that you guys can learn from each other and you can continue supporting each other and also keeping the IMIM spirit always like a uh, live. Um, another initiative of ours that we have been running lately which we named it as IMIM ecosystem. Basically, we try to integrate the companies who are interested in collaborating with the academia as well as who are interested in uh, recruiting the top talents. Basically, we believe in our uh, IMIM students um, and we try to bring this cooperation with the businesses in terms of what? In terms of uh, creating some internship programs, some of our ecosystem partners offer some internships and then we share these opportunities with our students. They are also joining us for the lectures, webinars, sometimes workshops, seminars, more like in, in a presential format. And there can be some social benefits and sometimes there may be some um, um, scholarships uh, that they offer and we try to link it to the students who are most relevant to them. And as I mentioned, Axion has become our corporate partner and uh, they offer our students uh, opportunities of internships uh, to develop their master thesis while working on solving a practical issue or maybe running a market analysis uh, or a feasibility analysis for Axion. And um, depending on the year, uh, Axiona sometimes also for uh, scholarships to the top students. And this also basically creates a further connection with the company in terms of, you know, when we consider the potential internships, the potential future professional career, so on and so forth. We are very happy to have them on board. Um, yeah, here you see some example companies among many others. Uh, we have Sony, we have uh, EO from Turkey, we have, we have KLM, ABB, Accenture, Air France, uh, Cisco, uh, IKEA, and so on and so forth. Is that, would you like to take it from here? Yes, sure, thank you, Abru. Um, thank so you. Um, another, another advantage that we have with IMIM is that you will get in the end uh, two degrees, okay? So uh, as everyone was mentioning, you will have a Master of Science in Industrial Management from Heredewald University, which allows you to continue with your PhD student studies in case you want it. And on the top of that, you will get uh, the International Master Degree in Industrial Management from UPM. Uh, so this could be very advantageous as well. Uh, for you guys. Um, here is our social media. You can find uh, actually uh, a variety of things that we have been working, uh, not only from for our alumni, but, but in general, let's say for candidates, for society, for uh, enterprises. So I'm just gonna sh uh, show you 
our uh, YouTube channel, which I think it's, um, and the LinkedIn, which I think is very, very interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna share the screen now. So can you see now the screen with the uh, YouTube? Yes, yes Isaac. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bru. So uh, these are events, uh, videos that we have, let's say testimonials from, from students from different editions. And we have here many events that we have had, like uh, career fairs. Uh, this is a talk, uh, let me check. This, this was organized by the Monterrey Tech. This was with, uh, uh, with Gerardo Erkeling, who was the director for uh, Hewlett Packard, you know, HP in the Americas or we have a talk, for example, related to incubators and accelerators from Polito. Uh, I mean, you have a list of different-, different It is my pleasure to- in that, that you can see here, no? Project management, I think uh, Daniela said she was interested in project management. There are a couple of talks on project management, leadership, circular economy, uh, testimonials, um, and different, different topics, no? Artificial intelligence, entrepreneurship strategy. So I think it's very complete. You can you can always be a part of our community and that's the idea, uh, whether you decide or not to, to study with us, you can always enroll. You will be receiving, if, you are, if you, you are enrolled to the newsletter, you will be receiving the invitation for our events. For example, this informative session uh, is one of those as well, uh, but you can participate, okay? Uh, uh, also, after after the IMIM or during the IMIM, if you study with us, many of these events they are also happen to be in person. Okay, so uh, it will be in our partner universities or also with with UPM. Uh, you will attend to the auditoriums or or classrooms, and you can have a, a face to face uh, approach to, for that. We also have here some uh, videos about the the life experience. We know that sometimes you want to know how it is like. So we, we created uh, the first, let's say, kind of contest for uh, uh, recently for our students. And as you can see, we uploaded four months ago this video, which I'm gonna show you now. So you can see um, a bit of the, of the life, uh, the end of Madrid and the beginning of Edinburgh, which is the, the video who was the winner from, from the ones that were submitted. So uh, let's see if I, we have no problem now. Mm -hmm. Can you see it and hear it? Yes, we can. Sorry, Abru. Uh, uh, well, I'm not able to hear it. Can you try it again, please? I can see the video, uh, but not the uh, audio. So, is it the same for the rest? Yeah. Or maybe yes. 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 Okay. okay. I remember that uh, we have to share something. We have to change. Maybe, something. maybe Isaac, uh, before sharing your screen, you need to say share sound as well on Zoom. I mean, stop sharing. If you if you can stop sharing before. Um, Thank you. Yeah, there 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 is a button, and you need to click share sound. On the bottom left, that there opens a new window, and then you click on share sound. I'm not sure if maybe Susanna has to do it because she's the organizer. I, I cannot see the. Is it where is the microphone? I uh, know you you need to click on share mm -hmm. first, and then there comes okay. a new window. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Fine. Yes. So let's. <laughs> No, it's okay. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. Okay.
well, you can see the, the full video later. So, um, so as you can see, uh, it's not, we know that it's not everything about studying. It's also the experience to go to a different country, to learn a new language, a new culture, new food, but also the bonding. You, know? you can see how our students, they become a family in the end. And uh, this is a family that remains for, for the rest of your lives. And that's uh, how I was saying, we have been uh, now working in connecting, let's say, students, and they are very happy to participate in our events uh, to help each other no? when, when looking for a, a job, sharing some experience. So um, also you, you can try to join us with um, in our social media. This is, for example, the, the Instagram. We, you can also find us on, on Facebook. So we have... Uh, we have our community in Facebook or in LinkedIn or in Twitter, okay? These are just examples about how you can, you can reach their, our alumni, um, contact them, ask them, okay? And, and there is always content that, that you can double check. So uh, before we go to your questions, let me just go back to the presentation. I'm sure that you have many Many, many, many questions. Can you see the presentation again? Yes, yes, yes. So here you will find the links. We, we can also um, send you the, the presentation. Uh, but well, you, you, you got an idea. And I think from us, this is it. Uh, I mean, you can always email us uh, any comment uh, at imimindustrialis.ppm.es. So uh, now I think we, we would like to open the, the microphone no? to your questions, your doubts, see what, what you think about it, what would you would like to know, you know, uh, either before, during, or after the master, we're going to try to answer your questions now. So you can write down the, you can write down uh, your question or, or you can, of course, uh, open up your microphone. And Javier, could you introduce, uh, if you cannot activate your microphone, introduce yourself in the chat, please. So where are you from, what you study, what you're interested, please. Um, Daniela, Pietro, Margarita, Diego, any questions? Doubts? Yes, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, please. I would like to know uh, what percentage of the students uh, have studied a, a technical degree or a business related uh, degree? How is the distribution of the students? Actually, they are both because we're in, in, in the interlink between both um, groups. So we have people who have studied economics, marketing, uh, business administration, and any other type of engineering as well, computing, mechanical, biotechnology so so if you have any of these uh, uh, degrees I would say uh, it would be fine which is your degree Dio? aerospace engineering oh it's perfect we have had many more aerospace engineering we had an event actually uh, the one in Indu forum like one month ago and we had an alumni she studied the uh, aeronautical engineering and now she's an alumni uh, but you can also watch I, I think we we might have some recording or we can put you in touch with her if, if you want to know more how IMIM has helped her. No? Okay, that would be great for you. Just write us to, to the email, IMIM, please. And we have another question by Margarita. What's the admission process? That's very, that's very good. So uh, I'm not sure, uh, Susana, should we answer this or would you like to take it? Yes, this is good afternoon to everyone and welcome to the session. Uh, regarding the admission process, first you have to apply. I can send you in, in this chat the link. You need to register, you need to complete the online application and upload the documents that you that are requested. There are like two compulsory, your degree, um, bachelor degree and your transcripts, and also your English proficiency certificate. Um, then after you have uh, completed and submitted your application, uh, we we will, I mean, it will take us around a week, maybe a little bit less to evaluate it and to send you 
the admission letter. Then you have like uh, two weeks, around two weeks uh, to pay your, re your registration, okay? Or to register, I mean, to reserve your place. Um, then we will continue with, with saying you, sending you the rest of um, admission of docu uh, documents of admission and uh, enrollment. Okay, so this is the the mainly process. The deadline for European students is the end of July, and the deadline for non-European students is the end of June. Me too, but uh, we are a bit flexible. Thank you. Thank you, Susana. So as you can see, very easy. Two steps, you fill in the application, submit the decision, and then you can reserve your, your place. And the deadlines, so it's all also in our, our web page in the, in the admission section. Uh, so do we have more questions, comments? Uh, about the students who have enrolled, uh, Daniela, Diego, is everything fine? I think when with your visa, the accommodation, any, any, anything that worries you? Okay, Javier, no more comments. Uh, Javier, uh, are you willing to start in September? Uh, what do you mean if you may? Are you graduating? Where, where are you studying? Where are you studying? How can we help you? Uh, Margarita, uh, you're also willing to start in September, right? So. Okay, the English. Thank you, Daniela. See you in September. Um, so about English, uh, Susan, I think um, when is the latest that uh, Javier can can get the, the English uh, certificate? He can submit it in September. When the course is starting, uh, he can submit it by then. So he has time. Okay, so uh, Javier, if you heard that, you can apply. And if you get accepted, uh, then you have until September, okay, to, to prepare uh, so that you're able, you don't need a C2 level, you need a B2. Uh, is that correct, Susana? Uh, actually, C1. <laughs> the, the, the conditions C1, okay. are in the, yeah, in the website, yes, yes. Uh, admission requirements you can see you can see the, the English and certificates that are requested and the maximum and minimum okay so see one uh yes uh, if you're in UPM uh Javier you there is um, a special exam I think in July so there is a um uh or maybe Susana knows uh, the Programa de Lenguas Extranjeras, I think. There is an office and they have usually the TOEIC, and the TOEIC exam available. TOEIC is not uh, admitted. Okay. Or maybe TOEFL. Uh, programa. Do you know is, if in UPM he, he can have the exam somehow? I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, he needs to check it. No, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, 
are you including the CAD the certificates that are affected? Because it's, okay. they are not depending on, on us, but uh, on uh, Edith Ward University. They, they decide. Yes, yeah, they require these, these exams. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yes, you can write us to the email we were commenting. Uh, so um, we can write you the email uh, uh, as well, Javier, here. In a second, we will share it with you. Uh, don't worry. So do you have any more questions, guys? Pietro, Margarita, something else? It's like some, someone also asked about the email address where they can they can drop their questions. Yes, thank you, everyone. Yeah, Susanna. Susanna. Yeah, okay. What about certificate we will get from the third semester university? So at the moment, Margarita, uh, none. So we are working actually, um, we have more advanced, let's, I mean, the case of Kedot Wat is the same certificate if you go to Malaysia or if you go to Dubai. So it's the same uh, master in science. We are working at the moment uh, with the Monterrey Tech and Politico de Torino to see if you are able to get a third degree because in previous consortiums, we have had this and it's our aim. We're a bit more advanced with the Monterey Tech, but I mean, this is something that we expect to, to have here in, in, the, in the coming year. It's a long process, okay? Because uh, a lot of uh, paperwork between the universities, but we hope that by next year, you are able to, that we can offer you a third certificate or a third well, degree. Is, is that just to add uh, to this point, um, right now, we are just offering these two titles, but I think for the third semester, we can at least offer a certificate of study, you know, the, the student has accomplished this and that courses uh, with these grades and with these many credits. And this can maybe serve for some other reasons, but both UPM, the Polytechnic University of Madrid, and Harriet Watt recognizes the third semester credits so that you will be able to get these two, two titles, so to say. So we, we can say maybe one, uh, sorry, two titles plus the study certificates for only for the semester that you you will have been involved in that particular university. Yes, you're right, Abru. Thank you. Yes, it's a certificate of studies. And I think Javier had another question about the cost of living that Susanna has answered. The information mm -hmm. is on our website. Um, Pietro says, all clear, thank you. Great, Pietro. So we also expect to see you soon. Um, I'm not sure, guys, if you would like to talk about something else. We still have like five, 10 minutes. Any question also about uh, the master thesis, about uh, the work experience, about the company visits. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe it's too early for you. <laughs> we also understand that. Maybe just to remind while they are thinking if they have any additional questions. Maybe in May or even in June, we can run some webinars and you may also connect us to experience uh, how these webinars are and also meet some of our experts uh, so that this may also help you to get to your final decision if you like. So this may also help you and we would be very happy to have you also on these webinars. And maybe if you are in Madrid, you can also come to the school and meet us anytime and maybe join us for some lectures or some, some other seminars. That's right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, there is another thing that I would like to mention. Nobody has asked, I'm not sure why, but nobody has asked about the scholarships, about the waivers, but just for you to let you know, because I know, I think Margarita, Javier, you are, uh, if you come from one of our partner universities, you get a waiver. I think it's like around a 22% discount. Uh, for the fees, for the tuition fees. Uh, so uh, if you are from Polito, UPM, you will get this. Also at Monterrey or Hero Watt University. Uh, Pietro, which university uh, are you studying? Is it Polimi or, or also, I also any of them? No, I'm studying management in a Catholic university in uh, Milan. Okay. Okay. Even if Even you if don't, you don't have, 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 have from, from the IMIM partnerships, uh, we also have merit-based scholarships. So for example, 
Uh, last year, we got the scholarships funded by Acciona. Acciona is one of the top uh, Spanish firms. So um, they had a, uh, actually there were a couple of students uh, that got the, the scholarship from Acciona, okay? So you can also apply and there will be a section, uh, I think Susana, where he can mention that he would like to apply for the merit-based scholarship. Is that right, Susana? Yes, I am, or I am, I am scholarship post, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a, in the online application at the at the last step, number six, when you need to upload your documents, there is a, a place where you can click that you are uh, applying for a scholarship. So then you will be considered. So I think you all can apply to any of our, let's say, waiver scholarship programs. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very interesting and makes it more attractive. <laughs> so you should know. And, and Diego, you are involved, right? You, 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 you are involved already? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, yes. Where did you study your, your degree? Madrid, the UPM. Okay. So you already got the waiver, no? And the discount. Yes, 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 and that that helps a lot to to study that uh, the I am I am. Yes, it's a very interesting uh, discount. I mean, it's very very high, no? Very high. But we want you to, I mean, to keep collaborating from with our partner universities. So usually we get students uh, that have studied in in any of these universities as well. I would like to add something, another possibility in that sense. We have also had some of our students who brought their own sponsorship from the companies where they have been working. Some of our students have been already working and they got the, let's say, the sponsorship from the company and they joined us. So this is also another, um, another option. Of course, not very likely. It's not very easy to get, but some of our uh, students after you know starting working, they have decided to join us uh, through their companies as well. Yes, that's that's right. Thank you, Abru. Um, Javier is asking. Um, well, in your case, I think you should also. Start, uh, I mean, we will evaluate your CV. Uh, it's more merit based, okay? In this case, uh, more than economically based, uh, Javier. But uh, I'm sure you have a good CV, so send it, and we will we'll share it also with our partners, and and then we can see which type of um, uh, which one is better for you. No, if we give you the merit based scholarship or the waiver because you you are studying in UPM. But mention this in your application, please. Uh, what else? Something else, guys? Any other comment? Should we should we leave it here, or do would you like to ask something else? There was somebody else, Nicholas, but I think he has left. Okay. I'm not sure, Ebru, Susan, if you would like to add something else. Just like a reminder, we have been recording the session and we will upload it to our YouTube channel. If you would like to uh, re-listen or have a look at the slides and, uh, and the slides will be shared with you. Um, yeah, we look forward to have you on board for the um, upcoming edition and also for the ones who are not registered yet. Just let us know about your any, if you have any further concerns or questions, we would be happy to, to reply. Yes, exactly. They contact me in this uh, booth email addresses. So this is the same. Perfect. I am IM, Bruce Reales, I am IM, XP. So as they do say, you're welcome. If you have any doubts or questions or, con or concerns, thank you.
Great. Thank you once again, guys. Uh, and we keep in touch. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.